펠레는 대성당으로 유명한 독일의 대도시입니다. 독일 서부에 위치한 이곳에서는 펠시라고 불리는 펠르만의 맥주 스타일을 가지고 있습니다. 마치 샴페인이 샴페인 지방에서 생산되는 스파클링 와인에만 붙일 수 있는 이름인 것처럼 펠시는 퀼른시에서 직경 50km 이내에서 생산되는 맥주에만 붙일 수 있는 이름입니다. 맥주를 좀 아시는 분이라면 맥주는 크게 상면 발효의 에일과 하면 발효의 라거로 분류된다는 것을 아실 텐데요. 펠시 맥주는 이두 방법의 혼종입니다. 상면 발효를 하지만 라거처럼 좋은 숙성 과정을 거치면서 펠리시 맥주만의 부드럽고 과일 향이 강해지는 독특한 맥주가 완성됩니다. 이번 영상에서는 펠른 출신 독일 분이 선택한 최고의 펠리시 맥주 세 종류를 함께 소개해드리겠습니다. 안녕하세요. 손! 손! 맥주입니다. This is Jung Ho. I'm Rolf. Hello, Rolf. Thank you very much for visiting. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and we want to talk about beer in Quelm, mainly. Yes. And I think you already brought some local beer. Yeah, I did. Use. So we start with that one here. This is Rückhalt. I think it's one of the most popular ones, which is spread all over Germany. I mean, you can get that in different cities, not only in Cologne. See how it looks like and how it tastes like. Usually I would say like I'm super curious, but I already know the taste. So. Oh, yes. And that's why, why I say it's like an everybody's beer, you know, it's like, like many people like it actually because the characteristic is not that strong. Yeah, look at this foam. Nice, I can already smell this uh, flowery hop. Feel like full of mold already. I mean, usually like German style is like you have foam like this high and mm -hmm. so on. But to, to other friends of mine from Korea that they fill it to the top because then it's more beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Prost. Yeah. Prost. Prost. <laughs> wow! Wow! It has a good taste. It's it? amazing. It's good. Like it's like wow. it's easy to drink. Like it's refreshing and has a good temperature actually right now. So it's really good. But I feel like this has a little bit for me thicker. And what's the ingredient? Can you explain? Because uh, it's all written in German. So and basically, beer is uh, made from usually like more or less the same ingredients. Yeah. So and it's water, malt, and hop. Yeah, this, yeah, let's just drink okay. a little bit more because I cannot Cheers. stop it. Ah. It's nice. I like it. This is like a, a good grab at the, what we call kiosk or like Späti here in Berlin. Yeah. In, in the German culture, what we do a lot is we, we go and on the way somewhere else, like we just stop by a kiosk or mm -hmm. a spetty and we just grab a beer for walking. Ah. So we drink and walk. Mm -hmm. And in other cultures, <laughs> many people say you shouldn't do that, like walk, like drink alcohol wow. and, and walk. But it's such a common thing. Do you think I can find this in Berlin? Um, maybe, because that brand is actually the easiest to find somewhere else outside of mm -hmm. Cologne because it's the marketing strategy or something. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is like you can actually, I think by five liters, like you, you can buy that after passing the security at mm -hmm. the Cologne airport yeah. and you can bring that ah. and people actually can buy that and bring that all over the world. You it means know, you like can as buy a it from the airport. Yeah, like ah, after the idea. security, so, so you can bring culture Yep. your friends in Korea, okay. in the United States, yeah. wherever, you know. Wow, then I'm just wondering, because there's no direct flight from Kelun to Korea, then from Kelun to, at least you need to go to Amsterdam, then bring this beer. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but since this. you are in transition and yeah. you don't leave the airport, that's okay, actually. Right, it must be sealed, because yeah. you are not supposed to drink. Okay, then I guess uh, we need to go to the next beer. Here you go, <laughs> like this is the, the next beer. 